Hello, welcome to my craft room. Right, this week, end of the month. So I am keen to finish up my projects and then so I can start something new going into April. So I have four projects on the go at the moment, but it's possible to get these finished. So let's see what I've got. First of all, I have DK socks. One is finished and one is just changed to the pink on the toes. Ooh, take it off my pink. <laughs> so yeah, just got to do the toes on the second one. So that is very doable. Drops Nord, these are made from, and it's the Crazy Sock Lady DK weight sock pattern that I'm using. So that is the socks, project number one. Project number two is a sock head hat, sock head cowl <laughs> using up my scraps. So all I've got to do is I'm on the ribbing on there. So all I need to do is finish off the ribbing. I've got this bit here and another little scrap. So that's not going to take me long. So that's the second project to be finished. That is all Drops Alpaca 4 ply. This one is knitted. And then the third project, the biggest project with the most to do on it, but still achievable, is my college days vest. And I am up to it if I stand back, then I have split for the sleeves. So I've just got this bit to do front and back. So I'm working on the front at the moment and then I'll be finishing off the back and then it'd be armholes, the ribbon on the arms and the ribbon at the neck. That is style craft and more. So that is project number three. And then if I've got time, because I only started this project last week, and this is the startings of a dress for Vixen <laughs> sitting there. She wants a new dress for her holidays in April. So I am knitting her a dress, oh, dropping the yarn. So this is a stripy dress. And this is just knit in um, Home Bargains acrylic yarn. So I've got a long way to go with that, but this is the last project to finish. As long as I get those ones finished, I will be happy. So let's see how I get on. I have finished my cow. The scrappy cow is finished. So this is sock head hat cow. Sock head, cowl, no hat, just cowl. <laughs> so it is four ply yarn. It's the Drops Alpaca. So I just had different scraps left. So it's just rib either end and then stockinette in the middle. So I can wear it. Well, I shall try it on for you so you can see. So you're supposed to wear it just scrunched up so it can be high under a coat. <laughs> Alpaca fur. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's got that rib, that means it stands up nicely so it can stay up to keep you nice and warm. So I could have it that way so the cream is at the bottom. Or I can put it the other way. So I've got the cream at the top. Mine's got a longer rib on the cream section. And then just like that. But how I'm liking it, because I like to wear my cows in the house. When I was messing about that, I was folding it over. So I have the two, oops. I have the two ribs together and then I can either go like that 
that so that you can see the different colours. So then I can have it like this. I can have it either colour in and out. So I like to have it, well, I think I would like to have it like this. So I've got that colour inside, different outside. Yeah, just still, if you want it under my coat, higher up, I can still have it like that. Or I can have it scrunched down. Or it can be the other way, depending on what I'm wearing. I could have like the cream and the lighter tones outside and then that pop of colour inside. So yes, very happy with that. Very wearable addition to the wardrobe, using up those scraps, but alpaca, so super warm. So a success, that's what we like. <laughs> so I'll definitely do one of these again because it really works well. Just doing that stripe in, it kept my interest. I didn't know because I had different lengths of the colours, so I didn't know what it was going to turn out like. And yeah, I think it just makes it nice and wearable. So I'm happy with that. Talking of stripes, someone else is wearing their stripes, aren't they, Vixen? Ooh la la. <laughs> She's getting ready for a French holiday. So I'm making a stripy jumper. Well, sorry, stripy dress, but this is how far I've got so far. So I have just divided for the sleeves. So this, the sleeves are on waist yarn. Unfortunately, what that means is probably I'd have to get the DPNs out. So yes, we'll worry about that. It's only going to be a little bit, isn't it? Because I don't think they're very long sleeves. So um, yeah, so we're going to have to do that. But at the moment, I've done already done some decrease decrease increases here there were some rapid increases at the front because she's got a bit of a belly sorry <laughs> we've all got areas foxy don't worry we've all got areas so um yes doing increases to make it a line so it will fit over her proportions nicely at the back it's going to be the same as this one so there's buttons so we have got this band coming down with buttonholes that's going to be over there. So yeah, just I'm working my way down the dress at the moment. So we thought we'd try it on for see how it fits. And it's fitting nicely and I think it suits her very well. Très chic, très chic. <laughs> so yes, I will be carrying on with that one at the moment and um, getting that finished for her. Now we've had lots of people saying she needs a beret. If she's going to France, she needs a red beret. And I do agree. So I am going to, looking at her now, the one that I found on Ravelry, I think it's probably going to be way too big because I didn't, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't in the um, craft room when I was looking at the pictures and I didn't realise how much her head comes in. I was thinking more of this bit, I think. Her, ch her chubby cheeks <laughs> rather than the top of her head so and yeah I was thinking about uh, yeah it's the ears you have substantial ears Vixen I'm afraid so we're gonna have to accommodate the ears you're gonna have to have one ear in one ear out to have that jaunty sophisticated angle so yeah I'll try and do a beret actually you might have to have two ears because I don't know there's not much gap between the ears <laughs> you know what they say about people who don't have much gap between the eyes their eyes are too close together <laughs> Vixen's got close together ears what does that mean Vixen what does it mean yes it means you're beautiful <laughs> enough said I shall carry on knitting on the dress and yeah once the dress is done then we'll see what we can do about a beret So yes, that is my March socks all finished. They are super cosy and I'm really pleased and I will definitely be making some more of those in the future. They are going to be going to be in my wellies, keeping my feet lovely and snugly in my welly boots at this time of year. 
and also I can use them just for slippers, so slipper socks. So really pleased with those. I have also made progress on my vest, the college days vest. So I have, oh, should I tip the boys? That's how long it is. So I have done the front. Tip you down a bit. I've done the front. I've done the back. And next bit is to sew up along these shoulder pieces to join those so that's the next job to do and then I need to do the band around the neck and around the armholes so not much more to go I've got a little bit of yarn left So this is how much I've got left of that second ball. So I'm going to be going into the third ball, but it's not going to use much, is it, just for the band? So yeah, nearly finished. So I'm on track to finish this one for the end of the month, which means I'm definitely thinking about what I'm going to be casting on. It's going to be another garment it's coming your way soon. <laughs> Now I'm not sure what I want to do. I know what pattern I want to do. It's the Lady February sweater. It's free on Ravelry. So I've liked this pattern for a long time. It's an old pattern. I said it, I made a video at the beginning of the year saying about some patterns, 10 patterns, sweater patterns that I wanted to knit this year and this was one of them. And I had this yarn for Christmas with the purpose of knitting it out of this because I thought it would be nice. It's Drops Air, used Drops Air before, love Drops Air. It's a baby alpaca and merino blown yarn. So it's lovely, super soft, and yeah, I thought that would make a really nice February cardigan. But now I'm having my doubts. I think my trouble is because this pattern is out of my comfort zone for what it's going to look like if I'm going to like it. So I'm thinking with it being fluffy as well how much is the lace work going to show up although i've seen other people do lace work with drops of air and it's been fine but how much am i going to enjoy this one or should i go with the starcraft special that i was going to use with the long um what's it called not coatigan the Andrea Maori one. You're all shouting at me, I know. But anyway, that one, I didn't use that one. So I've still got this in Midnight, which would be very wearable. And I thought perhaps that would make it more into my comfort zone. But then I'm thinking, should I just be brave and go with the drops air? What do we think? The other thing is that the gauge is supposed to be 18 stitches for that pattern. Now this is 17 and this is 18, so this is the right gauge. So I don't know. I don't know at all. <laughs> so yeah, what to do? That's the question, what to do? I think maybe what I should do is do two test swatches of the actual pattern repeat. So. the lace the lace on the bottom of the cardigan maybe if i did the pattern repeat on that for both of those yarns and then decide which i like the best this is going to be very light and floaty this is going to have more structure I don't know. 
is there's going to be two sort of wispy although after saying that i've got my other cardigan haven't i i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to take this off let me do that now take this off put on the cardigan i knit with drops there so i can think about how it feels when it's on hold that thought okay so this is the chartreuse cardigan by amy loudon and so it's just a very simple v-neck cardigan lovely to knit it's all the bands are done all in one go i definitely want to knit this again so that's making me think perhaps i should use that drops air to make another one of these because i really like this one it's like i say it feels so soft that's one of the buttons oh where's that one come from there is it there yes well how embarrassing <laughs> i didn't sew that on very well did i <laughs> so it's really easy to knit but obviously not so easy at sewing the buttons on so yeah i'll put that back on then <laughs> okay so what were we saying yes i wouldn't mind another drops air one of these so maybe i should knit the february lady sweater with the navy that midnight blue so i've got something different another blue one which i like just goes with anything but in a different more I don't know the word, not way out, just out of my comfort zone. So it's a different shape to get used to in just a simple yarn to see if I like it. And then I can use that drops air to make another one of these because I think this in the summer, like summer evenings and things, this would be really useful because it is so snuggly. It's so soft on the on your skin as well. You can literally throw this onto anything. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but I shall mull it over, but while I'm mulling it over, I shall sew my button back on. Because as we know, if I don't sew it on now, before it goes back into the wardrobe, it's not going to get sewn on. And then every time I want to wear this, I won't wear it because it's missing a button. And then I will lose the button <laughs> because that's what happens. <laughs> Been there, done that. So yes. That's what's going to happen there. I'm going to sew this button on and I'm going to think about it. But I do think that I'm leaning more towards the use that navy for the lady. Because I think as well the lace, it'd be nice like this. If I had a t-shirt underneath that or something, you would see more through it. Whereas I think with the fluffiness of the yarn, you're not going to get that lacy effect as much. But like I say, other people haven't, you can see, so I don't know. I really don't know. But those are my thoughts at the moment, subject to change. <laughs> my college day's best is finished. All done. I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> so this is a free pattern on the Drops website. And I knit it in the... And more by Stylecraft. It took literally just over two balls, 200 grams. So I've got 98 grams left of the third ball, <laughs> which is quite annoying. I did think originally that I could have gone longer and wish I'd done a thicker ribbon on the bottom. But I think it would be good just to test this out because if I go like this, it doesn't go too short. So perhaps I have got, just got this mindset now that I want it longer when I should test it out before I do another one. I would definitely do another one. I really like it. It's really comfortable and it's, yeah, it's really nice and warm because it's an Aran weight. Um, I would perhaps do a slightly thicker rib next time because it's only, I think it's about two centimetres or something. It's that much rib. So I think I would go slightly longer. In the pattern, it said after you finish the rib decrease by eight stitches i didn't do that then because i do go out a lot on the hips so i was worried about that so i waited till i come further up and then decreased 
but I just, instead of doing it throughout, I just did it at the sides so it didn't show so much. So I just did four decreases, went up a bit, another four decreases at the sides. And so that has given me that shape. Um, everything else is just as instructed as always. Not particularly keen on how I've picked up the neck. It's always the, the, the arms have come out better, but the neck, but it's okay. It would do. <laughs> so yeah, really pleased with it. So this is my college days vest. As I said, you can wear a shirt underneath it or a long sleeve t-shirt or a short sleeve t-shirt just to give that little bit extra warmth. But it was a fun use of this yarn. So a success. So what else have I been up to? Well, before we were talking about the February lady jumper. Can't remember now. <laughs> Put it on screen and i was saying about using the drops air for that one which is a blown alpaca yarn and the pattern is ribbed at the top and then it goes into this pattern in i think it might go that way but this pattern at the bottom now going by the size on the actual bull i think what the problem was was on the pattern instructions, it says for you measure it for the garter stitch. Whereas usually on the ball band, it says how much for four inches with stockinette. And there's obviously a difference because I would change my needle size accordingly, thinking that was right. And I changed it about three times. And I finally got to about the right, right gauge, but I just wasn't feeling it as to have it in a cardigan like that it's just not i just didn't like the look of it it just i felt like it just wasn't going to have enough substance or i don't know you know when you just think no it's just not working for me so i think i will be better off if i use that yarn to make another one of these <laughs> it's not that cold really <laughs> Chartres by um, Amy Loudon because this is knit with the same yarn in the navy and I love this cardigan I love how it comes how it feels um, it's obviously got the right stitch count needle size for this yarn and over bare skin and everything You've got the v-neck which is handy and it's just a very basic cardigan, but because of it's all the fluffiness, it just works. So I think I'd like another one of these, but in this neutral colour. So I think that's what's going to happen with this yarn. I'm going to change it to a chartreuse. I'm going to take this off before I get too warm. <laughs> because it's nice and stretchy and everything as well. That's what makes it so comfortable, I think. It's just got that stretch and give to it. And yeah, it's the cardigan that if I'm chilly in the evenings or something, I will just put it on over anything. And it just, it's like a hug. It's like that comforting hug that you want. So I think that will be that one. And yeah, like I say, I just like how that looks compared to that. If I try and zoom up a bit. I like how it comes out with the stockinette rather than with the garter stitch. So yes, that is going to be the plan for that one. So you might have noticed there's another side. <laughs> so the other Aaron, which is just the style craft special. And so I tried with this and once again, hard to see because of being dark but once again I had trouble getting the stitch gauge and I think it is because of that garter but I finally made it <laughs> even though on the ball band that's what I say on the ball band it says it should be exactly the right one and usually I am pretty accurate to what it's supposed to be I'm not too tight I'm not too loose so I don't know but anyway I liked how this came out in the garter. Oh, it's going to be light. In the garter and in 
the lace. So I think that I'm going to do that cardigan because I like the texture of that as well. I think it would actually be nice as the garter at the top. I think that would feel nice. And then it's not going to be drapey around the bottom, but I think it would just like hold its own. So yeah, I think that would be the right thing to do. So the next garment cast on is going to be the ladies cardigan in the navy. In the navy. <laughs> right, let's not go into village people again like the other video. <laughs> So what else have I been up to? I have made progress on Vixen's dress. Yes, Vixen, this is your dress. Can I hold it so her head's sticking up? Oh, <laughs> about there. <laughs> so this is her dress. Should I put my hand in? It's a puppet. Right. <laughs> so this is a little dress. Now, on the bottom of this dress, You'll see on, let's get the big picture. Now on the bottom of this dress, it's just got the blue and then it's got that orange tab. But in the instructions, it says change to colour C. And my colour C was the red. So I thought, oh, Shall I do blue or shall I do the red? And I thought, well, actually, I'm going to do the red because the arms finish with the red and I wanted a bit more of the red on it. So I thought I'll go with that and I won't do the tab. I'd rather have that just stripe of red there. So that's what I went with. So as I said, you've got the bands down the back that need to have buttons. It's got button holes in. So what I need to do now, you can see more of the increases there. You can see it's a bit of a, what did we call it in the 80s? Tulip skirt. <laughs> it's a tulip shape. You make decreases to come back in again. So I just need to do the arms. But the arms aren't that big. But like I said, it's got to get the DPNs out for the arms. So look, there's, it's not going to be that long, is it? So I need to just do the arms and yeah, then I've near enough finished apart from the doing all my ends and it'll be ready to go. So um, I still haven't found any patterns for a beret, so I don't think she's going to end up getting a beret, but I'm planning on doing a red bag for her and I would like to do the little shoes. I think we should go for the... Mary Jane shoes, just the basic ones. So these ones on this side, rather than the fancy dancy ones. I think we go for these in red. Who doesn't love a red shoe? So red shoes, red bag. And um, yeah, I think that will have to do for Foxy. Oh yes, she's got an outfit all ready to go. <laughs> So is that everything up to date? I think that is everything up to date in the moment. So I shall carry on with the sleeves. I'm definitely not saying I'm enjoying this, <laughs> but what I will say is these needles are hanging on to the work really well. So I'm not grappling with them sliding out, which is one of my issues with DPNs. That's why I don't like them. But I am using the Knit Pro Nova Cubics. And yeah, I'm liking these. They are working for me. So yes, it's slow going. And there's ventilation underneath. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just doing a little arms. So, which isn't the best. That little space there using two colours, the third colour at the end. But it's okay. It's not going to take too long, is it? I hope. <laughs> so yes, that's what I am doing. So yeah, 
cubics for the win i think in future i will definitely buy these when i need some rather than those smooths because in the in the past i've bought like the symphony ones which are the wooden ones thinking that they will grab hold of the knitting more and they haven't because they are still quite slippy aren't they so i don't know if it's the shape of these or what but yeah i shall carry on Unfortunately, we've come to a bit of a stop with Vixen's dress. It may look finished, but she's bearing all behind her. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we need some buttons just for the back there. But it fits nicely. She's looking good. Stripes may be making her hips look slightly bigger, but that is the way of stripes. But yes she's very happy with it so now i have started working on her bag do you want to sit up there there you go for the bag you just make it in one long strip and then it's going to oops fold up like that it's a little messenger bag so that needs to go like that and at the moment I'm just doing an I cord for the actual strap so I don't think I'm even halfway yet oh, I'm getting tangled so yeah just doing an I cord on the DPN and then I'll attach that and that will be done so it's all coming together and then we shall be battling with the shoes. <laughs> what do you think to that then? <laughs> oh, I don't know how the shoes are going to... The shoes look complicated, I must say. So I don't know how the shoes are going to go. But yeah, we'll shall see how they come along. But um, yeah, I think her little bag over her shoulder will look really nice in the red. So yeah, you're going to be all ready for your holidays. And we'll talk no more about the beret. The beret is gone. We don't need a beret. We shall have shoes. <laughs> so you can look all sophisticated. Sophisticated vixen. I've got a TV recommendation for you. And this is what I was watching last night, the final episode of something we've really enjoyed and it's Atlantic Crossing and it tells the story of Norwegian crown, crown princess Martha who when they the country was invaded by the Nazis they left to go to America she took her family to America there she met President Roosevelt and they formed a strong friendship and it's how he helped her in the war and her struggles through the war and how it goes literally from when they was invaded to when they went home again and it was a really brilliantly acted and the story was lovely and yeah loved it it does have subtitles on it because of the norwegian which isn't good when you're trying to do your crafting because i'm not somebody who can just watch something and not look down at my knitting but it was worth looking up for. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoyed that. It it showed the struggles in her relationship with her husband and he was over in London a lot of the time because he had war work to do there and how, well, I'm not going to tell you anymore because you need to watch it and see what happens. But it's a, it's a part of history that I didn't know about that I hadn't thought about so it was nice to see a little glimpse even though it's obviously drama so it was sensationalized it was nice to see a different angle to that important period of history so yeah I really enjoyed that and I would highly recommend it something else that I've been enjoying now if you've been watching these videos you'll know that I've been struggling with the reading <laughs> It's something I've always loved to do, but for some reason I've just got this block. And I thought I was up and running because I had a couple of books that I loved and I whizzed through. 
Then I started a different one, the Sherlock Holmes one. I was enjoying it, but I just could not. I just wasn't picking up to read it. It just wasn't the right book. It's a book that I will enjoy and I'll definitely go back once I am at my normal reading then I would go back to that series and start from the beginning because apparently there's lots of books so it's something I could really enjoy but it's not ticking the spot at the moment and as I said before what one of my struggles is that I feel that I'm a thriller like a cosy thriller more than a gory thriller reader that's what I like I like a mystery and things but I've been the books I have been enjoying have been all these like chick flip cozy cafe by the sea ones which i feel like i think there's a bit of a stigma and they shouldn't be because they are enjoyable and they're just nice happy books and so i thought i should relax into it but my thought was when i wasn't reading that sherlock holmes ones those are i had some books from the library and I'd run out of time, so I need to take them back to the library. So I thought, right, I'll take them back. I'm not going to get out any more books because I'm obviously not reading. I've got things on my bookshelf. So if I do want to read, I'll read those. So, of course, I went in there, handed my books back in, saw some books on the shelves because it's a library. <laughs> and so I ended up with these. <laughs> So I have been reading this one and enjoying it. So that's what I mean about I just need to accept what reader I am at the moment. So I have picked up, and not an author I've heard of before, Jane Linford, and it's Eddie Brown's Cottage by the Sea. So I'm quick, I'm copying my books. I shall quickly go through and tell you what these books are. So this one, is literally young girl well i say young girl to me <laughs> she's um i think she's about 30 she's had a stroke and so she's recovering she's okay but she just can't remember words and her hands aren't working how they used to do so her aunt is recently widowed and so she has gone to stay with her at this cottage because it's a cottage she brought with her husband to do up she never wanted to live by the sea in this cottage. She wanted to be in a big city or a town. So she's ended up living in this little cottage and her husband passed away a few weeks after they moved in. So she just needs some help to sort her life out. And so in this community, they've got a centre, community centre, where they do lots of things. They've been doing quilting, calligraphy, um, They've got garden talks, all these different events are going on in this little community centre. So she's making friends and obviously there's going to be a romance. <laughs> Next one. Because as soon as it says Cornwall on it, I need to look at it. So this is Philippa Ashley. I love Philippa Ashley books. They're always good. A Perfect Cornish Escape. So there's that one. Then A Year of Surprising Acts of Kindness, Laura Kemp. And then, you know, I've already read The Little Library in a Phone Box. This is a different little library in a phone box. So this is The Littlest Library by Poppy Alexander. Once again, setting up a little community library in a telephone box. And then to try and get back on track. <laughs> I picked up one of these um, quick reads and it's Mark Billingham, it's called Cut Off. And I've, I've always loved Mark Billingham. I've got my husband into reading Mark Billingham. It's literally what they, 100 pages? 98 pages. So let's see if I can get through that. So as I say, I have been reading that one and really enjoying it and wanting to keep reading it. So yeah, I have high hopes for that and then I can go on to another one. Hopefully when I finish that one, I'll try out this one and see how I get on. But yeah, I'm really happy that the readings come back. As I say, just got to stick with the cosy cup of tea and yeah, tea shop by the sea 
everything's lovely books <laughs> right let's get back on to doing that strap for Vixen's bag Vixen has her bag it's a bit wonky <laughs> I won't lie it could have been better I rushed the block in to be perfectly honest which was probably the problem but it fits it goes over her head full security while traveling she's going to wear it like this so she needs a little button on it so she keeps all her euros safe hey vixen you got many euros to take with you you're gonna treat me glass of i was trying to think what the sparkling wine is in france champagne maybe champagne I was thinking Prosecco, then I was thinking Carver, but no, Champagne. We need Champagne, Vixen Champagne. So yeah, she's all ready to go, apart from buttons. So we need to pick up the buttons and then we shall be all ready, won't we? So yes, that is her outfit. So, oh, I forgot about your shoes, didn't I? Hey, we've got to carry on with your shoes. Just when I thought I've got my three projects, oh dear. Let me tell you what my plans are for April. So I have a look through my book. My knitting book. And I try, <laughs> I try and have three projects for on the go at one time. So I have a bigger project, a smaller project and a cheeky extra, which is something that I can swap if I'm just getting bored. So I've always got something for TV knitting. And um, we've got <laughs> we've got some of your fur in my mouth, Vixen. Um, yes, yeah, so three different projects on the go at one time. So the first thing, I finished my socks for March, and so the next prompt for April is Easter. So I'm going to go for the King Cole zigzag, and I'm thinking this is very much Easter egg. Capra's Easter egg. It's a bit lighter, the purple's not as dark, but I'm thinking you've got that creamy yolk of the egg there, haven't you? And then those colours for Capra's cream egg, reds and oranges and things. So that is going to be for my Easter egg. And this is, doesn't say the colour, can't remember what it's called. What was it? It had nothing to do with Easter. But yeah, that is the colour I'm going for. But I fancied doing, because I have learned from making socks with the self-striping ones that I'm not particularly keen on the cuff being in the stripe. So I want a separate colour for the cuff. I don't mind the heel being, I like to see how the colour changes are for the heel. And I don't mind the stripes, not the di different thicknesses of stripes and things. So the sequence doesn't follow through. I'm quite happy with that to see how it changes. He has interest. That doesn't bother me. But I also am not keen on the toes at the end with the self striping. So it comes like fish lips at the end. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. I've got plenty of those myself, but I just know that I do prefer a block colour at the end and at the top. So I might do the heel colour, I wish you'll see as it comes through if I want to do the cuffs, heels and toes or just the cuffs and toes. But then I was thinking what colour because I could either go whoops, what a, uh, one of each instead. <laughs> I could either go for the pinky red or the blue. Let me arrange it so I've got a grip on it so you can see. So I could go for either of those colours, couldn't I? I am thinking of the red because I think that's quite a good match with the red that's already in there. So yeah, looking at it on that. I think I am going to go for the red with these they're going to be nice and bright I think what I was thinking with the blue is it might tone it down a bit but do I need toned down socks I don't think I do 
So yes, I'm going to go for the red. I'll start off the cuff in the red, work my way down and then decide when I get to the heel. So that's my first project. My second project I've already got ready in a big bag because this is going to be my February lady sweater. And of course I am knitting this in the Starcraft special that we've already spoken about in the blue so I should be casting that on and then what I was going to do see it's juice isn't it but if I do one thing and then the other but you want your shoes don't you shoes won't take long surely would they perhaps I should do your shoes first get them out of the way <laughs> So you're all ready for your outfit. Decided, shoes first, and then this project. So I don't know, I've just pulled out all these yarns because I've got all of these in my four ply selection. So some of them are the drops Nord, and some of them are drops Flora. So they've both got the alpaca. How much alpaca's in the flora? 35% alpaca, 65% wool for the flora. And then it is 45 alpaca, 25 wool and 30 polyamide for the Nord. That's why I use those for socks. So I've got all these colours in here. And I was thinking, because I've seen a few people, Lily Kate makes, I shall put them down below or on the screen. I've seen some people making up a vintage sweater and I've liked it for a long time. And it's called the rainbow sweater. I always thought it was called the bunny ears sweater because it looks a bit like bunny ears and it's slip stitches. And it has like a plain colour at the top and then this colour work at the bottom I shall put a picture here and short sleeves and it's not supposed to take up a lot of yarn so I thought I could pull, pull out some colours that go together and make a Easter little sweater so obviously it's going to take me longer than that but I just thought because it's got bunny ears it might be a nice project to do in East for over Easter and then it would be a nice spring jumper wouldn't it four ply short sleeves can always wear something like this underneath so i thought yes that will be the plan so i need to look out that i know you can get it free or very cheap off of like etsy so i shall have to investigate that but yeah i'm thinking that could be a goer couldn't it maybe like the blue at the top and that green i like I'd have to have the red or the purpley colour. Maybe that one. So yes, we shall see. Exciting, but first off, shoes. <laughs> so that is all my plans at the moment. We are up to date for the end of March and moving on into April. Exciting times through April. Thank you for joining me. It is chucking it down with rain. I hope it's nice weather wherever you are. And I'll see you again next Sunday. Bye for now.